Uh, how are you both doing? Good, how so are you? So good, how are you? Yeah, good. It's, I'm in London, so it's sort of nearing my bedtime, to be honest. But, <laughs> but <laughs> Thank very... you for doing this when it's time. No, no, I really enjoyed the movie earlier. It was great fun. I'm, I'm actually going to start with you, Laura. I mean, you've obviously worked now with such a variety of, of big names and being around on set with such kind of uh, famous actors and actresses. But do you still ever feel that kind of feeling of being quite overwhelmed and quite starstruck when kind of Robert De Niro just walks past in the canteen or, or Uma Thurman is just kind of hanging around? Um, A hundred percent. I think it can be summarised when we uh, did the table read for this film Robert De Niro introduced himself to all of us as Bob. So I think that was the moment where I was like, this is the greatest moment of my life. Um, I was so starstruck. I was really grateful that I could actually go on set and watch everyone. I know that sounds kind of weird and a little creepy, but I was I was just really excited to, you know, watch everyone do their takes and learn. I mean, these were uh, these are amazing actors. Yeah, and, and Oaks, I mean, you obviously, I mean, you have to square up with Robert De Niro in this movie. You two, it's a real kind of feud that you two have got going on. How, I mean, he's renowned, obviously, throughout his career of being a kind of method actor. When he was in Taxi Driver, he actually became a taxi driver to kind of help him get into. So what, what's he like to kind of, to collaborate as, with that closely? Is he quite in the zone on set? He is, but I, I think that he's also just like that as a person. He's he's not, um, he's a man of a few words, I'd say, at some points. And I think he's, he keeps to himself a lot and he's just a very humble person. And um, I think working with him, that's the main thing that I took away and, and main thing that I actually look up to and look forward to in, in my life. And I, I want to strive to be more like that and be more humble as, as best as I can. Yeah, and uh, Oaks as well, just wondering, because obviously your character is ch rounded, which obviously has chores and is grounded in the movie. I'm just wondering if you've ever been ch rounded in real life, or if, you've, if you've ever done anything at home that you think is worthy of being ch rounded. Um, I don't know. My, I think my parents in a lot of ways are, they don't necessarily parent that way, but they, they um, I have been grounded in the past and things like that, but it's never been, if there's anything serious, like, I think my parents would rather just sit down and talk to you about it, to talk to me about it. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I've really ever done anything that's caught me fully grounded, but. Uh, and Laura, my, my final question was to you. I was just wondering if, about sort of keeping your feet on the ground as a kind of rising star in the industry, because I noticed on Instagram, you've got like almost 10 million followers which is just kind of insane I just wondered how because that side of it I mean we, they, we obviously we always sort of uh, learn and teach of young actors about um, acting and being on set but the responsibility that must come with having such a big fan base must be a whole added aspect that you must have to to shoulder as well totally it's funny it's I think for me it's just important to always be around family and people who help keep me grounded. Um, when I was doing Austin Alley, I was still going to high school and actually going to an actual high school. And for me personally, that was a really important experience. I'm going part-time to college now. I will graduate when I'm 35. But I feel like for me, what keeps me grounded with all the uh, entertainment aspects of my life, the social media aspect of my life, um, and the you know somewhat strange aspects is having any kind of normalcy and remembering that it's really easy to think you're in this bubble and that's the most important thing in the world, but there's a whole world out there to learn about and that you should explore. Brilliant. Well, you've got about 10 million Instagram followers more than I do, so I'm... <laughs> no, but thank you so much, guys. Much appreciated. Best of luck with the rest of the junket. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.